Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this, this is another Ask Kieran. Uh, if you have any questions at all gaming related, uh, send them to me in a message or tweet them at me. If you send them as a message and tweet at me, uh, I will show them at the bottom here. Uh, if you don't want that, just say you don't want that. But if you send it to me on Facebook like Sam has done, I'm not going to do that for obvious reasons. Um, so yeah, I also want like a cool Ask Kieran intro video thing, so if you're good with Adobe After Effects or any other editing software, throw it together, send it to me. If you win, you can have my PlayStation 3 code for the Saints Row Commander in Chief Edition or whatever, I'll give you something cool. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not giving to give you cash money because that's not how this works. Um, no, I'll give you a code. For something I'm sure I can muster up something or whatever depends where you live I don't like to pay postage because outside of Australia it's like fucking ridiculous but anyway so yeah if you want to throw that together or whatever just to add to your portfolio of things that you've done in the design world then just send me a link something cool something witty something neat or something funny you that rhymes I think but anyway we're a minute and 30 seconds in and I haven't even got to the fucking question yet the question is Sam wants to know um, when Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, fuck, I already stuffed it up, we'll start again, but, no we won't, I don't cut videos, could be bothered, so let's go. Okay, Sam wants to know, Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out, when it comes out, will you be able to play it on an Xbox 360 4 gigabyte? So obviously, we all know that the 4 gigabyte Xbox 360 scam, which is what it pretty much was, uh, only comes with 4 gigabytes of onboard flash memory. So, Grand Theft Auto 5 requires... An 8 gigabyte install. Now that's relevant to every platform it is on. It's not just the Xbox 360. If you have it on PlayStation 3, you are still going to need 8 gigabytes of mandatory installs. The only difference is that on the Xbox 360, that comes on a separate disc because fucking Microsoft didn't think ahead and didn't future proof the fucking thing and they forgot to put a decent drive in there. So, what does that mean? If you have a 4 gigabyte Xbox, you can play Grand Theft Auto. Of course you can. Because the Xbox does this awesome thing that allows you to format up to 32 gigabytes on a flash drive, or a, I believe a, 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 a portable hard drive, uh, up to 32 gigabytes that you can save profiles, game data, and stuff like that so you can play it uh, and use it for removable storage. So, what they recommend is uh, Rockstar wrote in a Q&A post, if you're using USB flash drive, it must be at least USB 2.0. Show me a flash drive that isn't, uh, and I'll, I'll give you an award. And they continue with, with a minimum of 15 megabits, or megabytes, I can't remember which, megabytes per second, read speed, and formatted for Xbox 360 use. So what's that mean? If you have never used removable storage for your Xbox, you plug it in, and it will come up. How much space do you want to format? Uh, your device to. So if you have a 32 gigabyte flash drive, you probably don't want to use all of it. You can use 16 or however many you choose. Um, so yeah, do that. Keep in mind though, if you only save 8 megabit, uh, eight gigabytes, um, be warned because the Grand Theft Auto multiplayer is actually a download. Um, it doesn't come on the game because it's not finished yet. So if you want that, uh, obviously format a little bit more and you can download the uh, multiplayer mode, which looks amazing. So if you have a full gigabyte Xbox, don't worry. Uh, you can easily go out and buy flash drives. They're pretty cheap now, and most people have one. Uh, not more than 8 gig, though, I'll, I'll give you that. So I, reckon, I recommend if you were going to do it, can you buy flash drives in 12 gig? I think 12 gig would be plenty. You've got 8 gig and then another 4. I mean, I believe that 1 gigabyte is dedicated, or 512 megabytes is dedicated just to the Xbox formatting. So you might want to go and get a 16, I know 16 gigabyte flash drivers exist, but just for you, I will have a look on JB Hi-Fi, which of course, Australia's best video game fucking retailer, because EB games are like the Nazi party. Uh, yeah, computers and tablets, I'm doing this for you guys because I care. Computer storage, so if you want a, I mean if you just want to play it as is, I mean 8 gigabyte USB stick, even though they say US 8 gigabytes, but we all know that that's not the case, so that's, you don't want one of them. Uh, well, well, I'll find you one. These are all 8 gig at the moment. 8 gig, 8 gig, 8 gig, 8 gig, 8 gig, fuck. Here we go. SanDisk Cruiser Edge 16 gigabyte USB flash drive, 14 bucks. So, yeah, it's 14 bucks and it's probably cheaper if you live in a different country, Sam. However, um, you know, 
what can you do? You have to pay for it. So, you know, it's easy. You can also buy Xbox branded flash drives, but I'm, I'm, I would believe that that's just a scam. So if you have a four gigabyte uh, hard drive or you don't have any hard drive space at all, don't worry, there are plenty of options out there. Just go and buy the SanDisk Cruiser Edge 16 gigabyte USB flash drive, format it, and you can just put a little tag on it and write Grand Theft Auto and that could be your Grand Theft Auto USB flash drive. But again, don't get an 8GB one because it's not going to have enough room because that's not how they work. They say 8GB, but fucking... It, you put it in and say how much free space, it'll be like 7.8 or some ridiculous number because obviously it's formatted and that takes up space. And then you're going to have to format it again for the Xbox and again, be warned, once it's been formatted for the Xbox... Shit ain't gonna work on other things. It'll only work on Xbox. So it's a $14 investment if you get this particular model. Deal with it. What can you do? And again, 16 gig, plenty of room for the multiplayer that comes uh, at the end of uh, September. So, yeah. I hope that answers your question, Sam. If you have any other questions, anyone, uh, send them to me. I want to answer every question I get that's sensible and video game related. Uh, so until next time, tell me what you guys think. If you have a 4GB Xbox, uh, I'm out. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Au revoir.